Welcome to Shaw TV as we bring you our continuing coverage of Folklorama 2007. That's every pavilion this week. This is quite possibly the only pavilion in all of Fukurama where you're going to see clowns on stage. And there are a bunch of clowns on stage for sure. <laughs> this is Elena Berklon from the Russia Pavilion. You just love the colors and swirly things, I guess. I do. They're all sparkly and they're fun to look at. <laughs> I enjoy them. It's pretty amazing, actually, watching the entire show. This is really vibrant. What are the aspects of the show that you really love? I love the gypsy dances. I think they're great. Again, I have a fascination with the dancing and the colors and things and I think it's just really a kind of a passionate little number it's the song is quite beautiful and mm -hmm. I don't know I love all the gypsy dances there's quite a few of them in Russian culture mm -hmm. because the gypsies were, are a pretty big part of the culture there's a lot of songs and dances about them and I just love it I think it's great very heartfelt and for the fourth year in a row you've got this special group out in Toronto yes uh, they're revival and they're back again this year and they have new dances they're they're a good time they really seem to improve with every show and they look like they're having a good time so why not right. yeah. and again here high energy show lots of people are getting into it clapping along yeah. and the clown i just love the clown walking <laughs> around the audience she was so good and yeah. those two little kids yeah i know are they her I'm kids very excited no they're not her oh. kids <laughs> but they're very excited to be here they keep running around backstage bangling things and you kind of have to settle them down for the other performances but they're good <laughs> from New York for Folklorama this year is Mikhail Smirnov. Apparently, just, just like the drink, he keeps telling me. <laughs> now, what are you enjoying about playing all these different instruments for the audience here? I, I enjoyed the chance to introduce Russian folk instruments, the instruments they uh, play in Russian countries, to people in Canada. And it's a wonderful chance for me, this Folklorama Festival. It's just huge, you know, so many people can see what we're playing. Maybe they go home, pick up their balalaikas off the wall and start practicing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually somebody came up and asked him already about the balalaika. You can get one on eBay, you said. <laughs> yeah, on eBay you can get it for like 40 dollars. <laughs> strings that's it that's pretty amazing yeah so yeah. and you need at least three fingers to be able to play it at least yeah on each hand <laughs> i would imagine <laughs> so and this other instrument also you'll be playing during the week you said this is the oldest instrument this is the thing that i'm interested in is the range of instruments you're playing a whole bunch of different ones and old ones this is the oldest this instrument called gusli uh it's also like in uh, finland they call it psaltery and it, I believe it's the oldest instrument on earth. People used to play it, I know, like very, very long time ago. Yeah? Yeah. And it's very simply played? It's very simple to play. You just, um, you know, touch the strings you want to play. And over here, you like put your fingers on the strings that you don't want to hear. That's how you change chords. Okay. So play a short little something. <laughs> <laughs> 